Good morning, Peter here. You know, so often as we watch the news and uh, even look at what's going on in the world around us, sometimes in our own neighborhoods, we are just filled with a sense that things are not right. Uh, they are not working as they should. And when you and I look at the world around us and just have to exclaim, that's not right. In the Christian tradition, we have a way of labeling that. And, and that is uh, through the word or the concept of sin. Sin is simply missing the mark. It's when our lives and the world around us is not ordered the way God wants it to be ordered. It's not right. It's not working as it should. And so far as we know, human beings alone are uh, filled with this perception from time to time, this sense that the world is not as it should be. And, and we can actually become overwhelmed by that and, and lock up. Uh, we can see so much that is not working as it should, that is just wrong, that is under the power and influence of sin so far as we can perceive it, and, and wonder what it is we can do or how we should possibly respond. So many of these problems seem to be just too large for us to address in any meaningful way. So what can we do? Well, as I've shared with you before, there's a verse from the Apostle Paul in the 12th chapter of Romans that I've found very helpful and meaningful over the years. In the 21st verse there, the Apostle writes, Do not be overcome by evil, but overcome evil with good. So what a wonderful thought for us to carry into the day. Uh, to recognize that we do live in the world as it is, that it's not working as it should, but as we hear about those things that are not working right, that are not going well, as we witness things in the world around us that are not what God intended, that can and should build in us a sense to do what we can, uh, to say a word, to make a gift, to reach out to comfort and console, to take a step of concrete action in order to build up the world as it should be. It may not seem like much, but that's what we can do. Even in a world like this, which so often is disheartening and uh, can make us feel that there's really not much we can do, there's always something we can do. There's always something you and I can do on a daily basis to build up the world as it should be. So I pray today you find an opportunity to do that in some way, to overcome evil with good, even in some small way, and in so doing, bear witness to the love and the justice of Jesus Christ. Have a great day.